Hey, Coach Diana here with Friday's warm up. So, our warm up is going to be two minutes of cardio. So, running, rowing, biking, whatever you need to do for two minutes. Then, you're going to go into a two rounder. It's going to have suitcase deadlifts or backpack deadlifts, and then bit over row, dumbbell row, um, six on each side, or 12 backpack bit over rows. And then, we're going to do 12 alternating dumbbell plank taps or backpack taps. You can just tap any object. So let's go over these movements. All right, so when you're doing anything suitcase, it's like you're holding a suitcase so it's to your side. So we're gonna have it to our side. So you're doing a deadlift, so you're driving your hips back. Um, knees slightly bend, you're gonna tap and bring back up like you're picking a suitcase up off the ground. Um, again, dumbbell stays right by that side, driving your hips back, bending those knees slightly. So from there, you are going to do alternating bent over row, a bent over row. You're bending over, your knees are bent, okay? You're keeping your back nice and tight. You're pulling up and squeezing right here. Again, that dumbbell is staying close to that body. You're doing six right side, six, six, six left side. If you don't have a dumbbell, grab something heavy and you're going to go two arms, bent over row, and you're going to do 12 total. And then from there, it's going to be a plank dumbbell tap. And you're going to be in a plank position. One of the biggest things is as you're reaching, your hips rock as you're reaching. Try to keep it nice and tight. So again, you'll be on your elbows or toes. Elbows, toes, hands, and you're going to be far enough away that you're going to reach and tap, okay? Right here. So you have 12 of those. You're going to be doing that for two rounds. Once that warm-up is done, we'll get ready for that workout. All right, so let's talk about Friday's workout. It's a 15-minute EMOM. Minute one, gentlemen, 12 calories, ladies, 10 calories on a bike. If you don't have a bike, you can go to rower, but I would up the calories to probably 15, 12 on a rower, or um, 40 seconds of alternating jumping lunges. This is something that gets your heart rate up. Minute two is gonna be 10 dumbbell renegade rows, and then show you those in a second, and then 10 burpee over dumbbell. Again, you don't have a dumbbell, use a burpee over backpack, but for the renegade row, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 push-ups and then 10 backpack rows to simulate the renegade row if you do not have dumbbells. So let's go look at what those look like. Okay, you guys all know how to bike, row, jump. I'll show you jumping lunges though. With jumping lunges, you wanna make sure you're staying upright and we're exploding up. You want the movement up. If you don't have mobility, you can hold on to something and that kind of helps with the balance. So you got 40 seconds of that, which means I probably wouldn't sprint it because you might die. All right, the next thing is dumbbell renegade rows. So you need, if you only have one dumbbell, that is fine. You can alternate, okay? So you can have two or one, but basically all you're doing is you're here, you're in a plank, and you are rowing up, okay? You wanna make sure that as you're rowing, you're rowing nice and close to your side. We're not rowing out, we're not throwing our body. If you're doing that, your dumbbell is too heavy. So we're here, row and back down. You've got 10 total, so five on each side, and then burpee over your dumbbell. So again, we're starting up. Burpee, chest at the ground, thighs are on that ground. Press up and hop over, switch sides. You can do facing the burpee, facing the burpee. I like to see that you can do facing the dumbbell or laterally with the dumbbell, whatever works best for you. Happy workout. And what would Friday be without a Friday finisher? Let's get that core nice and strong. So for a Friday finisher, we have three rounds of 20 alternating V-ups and then one minute planks. So if you're like, what is an alternating V-up? Got you. Do not need to wait for that. So regular V-up is right here, okay? So alternating right arm, left leg. Left leg, right arm, okay? So we're alternating, okay? So you have 20 of those, so 10 on each side, but alternating. And then plank, you can choose what challenges you, elbows, 
hands, toes, knees. You can do some of this, some knees in it, whatever gets you going. But again, you have three rounds of that. Happy Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend.